Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Mr. Rahul. So, our wins exam is almost here. Uh, so many people had the MC2 and O, so happy to hear that. So, in last week, I posted some hands on questions based upon some discussions with the previous candidates who cleared this term. So, based on that, I provided uh, uh, Spring Boot, Django, Mon, and me and some questions. So, uh, if you have any query or doubt regarding those, you can just ping me, I will help. And in this video, I will just discuss how uh, we have to attend for the main exam and what are things we have to be aware of. Uh, while doing the hands of our T4 Spring Boot. Uh, so let's start. So if you are new here, subscribe my channel for more coding contents and all. So here, what I am going to discuss is based upon one of the previous question asked. That's the visa management question uh, asked in one of the hands on. So it's somewhat a simple one, even though some people uh, still don't know how to go with uh, some conditions like uh, DB operations, whether it will be data loader or SQL or uh, which all files they will give uh, filled or what all things we have to write, we have to write the end methods and also all these things we will discuss in today's video. So let's start. So this is the one of the problem as I mentioned visa management. So here the thing is why I mentioned that it's somewhat simple because here only one table is there for the, uh, the visa fields. Okay. So compared to some other questions in some cycle, uh, they asked somewhat complex questions which almost have three to four tables and we have somewhat we have to implement some db operations also uh, so like that it's not that much hard for ninja to digital candidates and this one as i checked uh, it's somewhat a nice concept that they asked so let's see how uh, what are things they are given? So first of all, user info model. So this one is used for the um, authentication purpose mostly. And visa model, as you know, this is the main table that uh, we use for what to say uh, data processing and all. And we have one data daughter. So that's another thing. So in most most of the time, they will give either data order or SQL. So we can't tell which one will come. So sometimes in uh, one cycle, I saw they gave SQL. Same time for some other location, they give data order also. So they will just mix up in uh, different locations. It won't be same at every place. So we will be having one data loader then as i uh, as we know some endpoints like uh, uh, login which uh, will be a public one which means the uh, anyone can access like uh, there is no permission needed for login one and then we have some uh, other things which uh, mentioned i clearly mentioned for the access, it needs authenticator user. So based upon that only, we have to implement the security part. <coughs> okay, and in the CRUD also, the main thing, the um, simple thing that you need to know, uh, if you know CRUD operation, okay, the only thing you have to learn security part, because in the CRUD part, only one thing you have to write before doing a CRUD operation is the authentication 
authentication is somewhat uh, two or three lines of code like um, if the particular user when you uh, open this api when a particular user is uh, trying to access that if that access having that authenticated uh, authentication uh, then only you uh, you will get the access like that only two or three lines of code will be uh, needed in the crud part so, uh, and the remaining will be same that you done for the prerequisite and all and uh, the mostly the same thing that they will uh, uh, we have to write in JWT are the security config uh, user info user detail service these three mostly we have to fill the same only this uh, JWT filter uh, JWT service so these things we have to write the same thing only there is uh, no major changes in other codes also the change will be mostly mostly in the permission section which means in this part the security filter chain there only we have to add some uh, uh, security check uh, other than that there is no requirement for uh, what to say uh, change anything mostly everything will be similar if you understand if you learn one code you will get to know what to write for the remaining um, uh, exams also and so on okay so another thing uh, you might be seeing some classes here like uh, old service uh, application service and uh, user info user detail service something like that you might be see here but when uh, when it comes to exam time hands on time uh, some classes might not be there at that time you might be get panic and you might be think like uh, why this method is not there if uh, do i need to create another so you have to understand one thing there is no need to create a new method or anything for a ninja to digital candidate okay so for them it's somewhat simple you just need to go through other folders also because these particular uh, methods might be given in some other uh, uh, files so at that time what you have to do is just use that method and call that method behalf of um, the methods that uh, the files that we have currently in our uh, project okay so main thing that you need to know is what particular method is doing for particular um, function so this is the only thing that you need to know while you write in the hands on mostly the security config page won't be that much tough but uh, you have to implement this one and uh, some two or three days back i got one message from one user uh, like he got doubt whether we have to implement the traditional way or using lambda actually using lambda method is somewhat good because it's easy to read and if you get one error or any other issue it's easy to understand why i am getting this error in uh, uh, well, for um, what to say um, for other cases like the jwt filtration or filter it's nothing but we are just um, authenticating the jwt that we are processing uh, we are getting after processing the user data and uh, these are the things uh, so the another thing which all files will be uh, given before the exam uh, for the exam which uh, you no need to write so mostly this uh, authentication request response type uh, folders you no need to write anything then dto then entities so these files there is no need to write any um, what um, codes uh, everything will be implemented so if you have any doubt like um, is it fully implemented you can just go through that even though um, till these cycles i didn't so 
um, that we have to write anything extra for entities for digital candidates and another thing that uh, you have to write codes mostly in the config package data loader it's, uh, it will be available so no need to uh, do anything in that one uh, for uh, checking what all data is there and uh, um, uh, the remaining details you can get it from there the remaining things like uh, security config user info user details and user info user details services um, controller then uh, uh, the sort filter service these things you have to implement sometimes you have to write the repository things also not fully uh, sometimes they forget or they won't give the annotations so at that time it might be uh, get some issues so most of the people um, think uh, how to uh, understand those things so when you get one error rather than just uh, uh, becoming panic uh, become panicking just go through the files like uh, what all things that you've done mostly uh, if you've done the JWT part correct and you get uh, uh, some errors in the correct part then there is no need to go for JWT in uh, one case last time one guy joined the guidance program when he uh, wrote the code that i gave for 7923 he mentioned for one or two api he getting uh, some uh, return error like for um, actually the errors that happened when i check the code and when i um, uh, check it in my local what he done I found that rather than um, he uh, what to say uh, he made some mistake he wrote the JWT part entirely correct so those things it is perfect so when I check the correct part the issue was there so in correct part he didn't give the endpoints clearly so because of that issue his entire um, not entire even though that was not an error it was just a failure like the endpoints only get some mismatch for 200 it's uh, 400 like that so at that time he made some um, slight change which caused the entire uh, things to work in that way so uh, while you doing if you are good at JWT also while you are going for CRUD, first you have to know whether you are writing the correct thing for the authentication. Then only go for the um, CRUD operations. Okay. So these are the things regarding uh, hands-on part. So when you get in the hands-on exam, uh, try to start with the security part only because if you um, write the security part, uh, at first it will take up to um, 30 to 40 minutes if you understand if you learn those things clearly in the uh, last previous two quotes that I shared that I clearly mentioned what all quotes we have to write and all so some things uh, see this function there is nothing we have to write it only um, wrote the code so these are the things that we don't we don't need to take care okay so uh, try to start with the security part mostly start with uh, user info user details uh, uh, detail service then like that go so then it will be easy for you to uh, finish otherwise when you start with the correct operation then you will get uh, errors you won't understand why the errors are coming because first we have to do the authentication then only we can go for the um, hands on uh, sorry the crud, um, crud part otherwise it will be a mess most of the people do that way if you don't know security part okay then what you have to do is in controllers there uh, as I showed there is one API which uh, there is no need of any security you can just start there for uh, people those who don't know 
security part okay if you know security if you know those things to write just start with there otherwise um, you, your time will uh, extend means as I mentioned if you start from that it will end within 30 to 40 minutes if you mix up like a security one or two you fraud then you go to crud part then again security you go then it will be mess and you won't get the touch so try to solve one and then go to another otherwise uh, you won't be able to finish it within uh, one and a half hour so digital candidate it's 90 minutes okay and uh, uh, I will post the 7923 explanation video today uh, it will be members only and uh, you can see that there it won't be available in uh, MCQ section it will be for the uh, exam explanation videos uh, like the 7923 I will uh, post the 78718 also which uh, uh, but that uh, 78718 I will just explain uh, that is actually in eyeball it's the older version in the newer version as I or every time I mention only the uh, security part it's somewhat some uh, slight changes will be there also in the entities uh, it they will use Jakarta for the latest version these are the some slight changes um, we have for 78718 so I just explain 78718 with respect to the older version and at the end I explained uh, for the latest version also so these are the things with respect to that uh, so these are the things so if you have any doubt or any queries like um, uh, for hands on for T4 Springboard you can just ping me I will help so that's it see you in next video thank you